All right. Hey, we like that. 57, 58. We'll sure. take that in February. A big moment for space exploration that NASA scientists have been waiting years for. The most powerful telescope in and out of this world <laughs> has parked itself in its new home nearly one million miles away from Earth. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Forward meteorologist Stefano DiPietro is here to break down the details of the James Webb Space Telescope. After nearly a month long journey through space, the James Webb Telescope has finally reached its destination way out into space, much farther than the Hubble. So I want to do a side by side comparison here of the Hubble Telescope and the James Webb Telescope. And let's start with the Hubble. Now remember that orbits Earth at a distance of 354 miles. But look at how far out the James Webb Telescope is in comparison to that 930 thousand miles away from Earth and technically the James Webb telescope does not orbit Earth, but rather it orbits the sun. And here is a side by side comparison of the two James Webb on the left Hubble on the right and right away that size comparison is not very glaring, right? But what we want to actually look at are the components of both of these telescopes, specifically the mirrors that are on them to absorb and reflect any light that comes in and the James Webb Telescope mirror is significantly larger than that of the Hubble. As a matter of fact, it's around six times larger, which is going to allow for a significant increase in the amount of light we could actually observe. And that is going to help us see farther into space and actually farther back in time as well. Because keep in mind, the farther away an object is from Earth, the longer its light actually takes to reach us. So we'll be able to get a glimpse of some of the first galaxies and even some of the first stars that were actually created. Pretty cool, right? And the James Webb Telescope is actually going to do all of this on the infrared part of the light spectrum that we cannot see with our visible eyes. However, that's why we're going to keep the Hubble in operation. So because the Hubble Telescope sees mainly invisible light, both the Hubble and the James Webb Telescope are expected to remain in operation working together to get a glimpse at space.